All right, the fellas, here we go. We've got another one from Fury and Son. This is a this straight up double IPA, 8.6%. We had the green one the other day. Now we have this one. This one's like, um, I had a bit of a read up, what did it say? Lovely head on that. Really spewing on the old Aussie craft beers. A lot of them had no head or they'd disappear. This is really looking good. So this is a boozy treat, they reckon. Throws out passion fruit, lime and spicy pine. Cone aromas. Okay, aromas. What about taste? Well, these guys... It says why well, they call Fury and Sons, and then they say, well, if you're brave enough, you can ask Reno when you see him. Well, he must be a bit of a fucking, have a bit of a Fury tempo about him, I reckon. Yeah, if you're brave enough, he must be quite a lad. Anyway, cheers, guys. We'll give this one a crack. Look. Terrific. Well, I'll tell you. You're kidding. If you're in some double IPA, this has actually got a bit of a malt backbone. Quite well balanced. Got a big bit of finish though, again. Not as big as the green one. The three letter one, whatever it was. But um, still the same. This was like 650 a can, which is really reasonable for a double IPA. Made in Australia. I think I like this one better. But there still is that hop astringency in the background. It's just sort of taken away from it a little bit. Tiny little bit more malt backbone, bit more, it'll balance that sweetness or balance off on the, the bitterness. These guys are really close to getting a really top beer. This is really pretty good. And I'm gonna be in trouble when I say Reno because he's gonna go, what? You said that about my beers? Oh well, on straight up. And I'm not really scared of anyone. I don't care how big people are or angry they are. It's, you know, on the day, you get the lucky punch in, you, you're the winner. That's all I always thought about it. I was watching a lot of AFL brawls lately and a lot of them they just no one gets a good swing in they all get like smothered by all these players they all end up on the ground wrestling and there's not too much going on in a way of fighting but i tell you when i played a well australian football i played it pretty hard but <laughs> fair. I never sniped anyone. I never played dirty. I played hard, tough and fair. And this is one of those beers. It's, it's hard and tough and it, but it's fair. It's a good beer. Double IPA, it's, it's there. It could be better in my taste. You know, you like your bitter finish well, yeah, you'll like this. It's not crazily bitter, but it is pretty right out there. Right on the end, on the taste, on the tongue. So, well, I'll give this a thumbs up. But I remember playing footy and people come and wanted to knock me out because I'd, you know, laid out the captain or whoever. 
you know, in fair play, but just give him a big shirt front or whatever it was, you know, without being stupid. I don't want to kill anyone. I thought I killed one guy once. But anyway, ambulance off the field and off he went to hospital. I found out later he had broken ribs. But what it's all about is I didn't let them all jump on top of me. When they come at me and threw their haymakers, I just dropped every one of them. I got like 10 blokes on the ground twice. And you never see that in AFL. You know, Mel Brown, he sort of knocked down about four or five. Well, I knocked down ten. And then I took on the supporters, the Roville supporters, because they were going our supporters. And I led the team off the field. It was like once we were warriors all, all of a sudden. It was like crazy. It was pretty um, full on. And then everyone tried to snipe me. I got sent off for dropping 10 blokes and that was against Rovo and then once again Sandown. I got sent off again, but you know, I couldn't believe the AFL, all the players, all the supposed good fighters, they all got fucking smothered and you know, it was like jumps on, you know, it was all like jump on top of each other and smother each other. That's not fighting, that's just fucking wrestling. Well, not even. It's just stacks on in my book. And I'm being as Aussie as I can because, yeah, you know, I played nine seasons of football. And I know how hard it is. You get smashed. I got smashed plenty of times. I had concussion probably six, seven times. And, yeah, it's not a good thing. Two broken noses concussion both times elbows and kicked in the head and kneed in the head and elbowed in the nose and you name it I've had it all back in the 80s it was pretty fucking tough EDFL I only played EDFL I'm not a star but I could play footy I could kick the ball a long way um, good ruckman I guess reasonable and a tough player, but today the AFL has gone a bit soft, I reckon. We're missing the Dermies and the, you know, the Mewers and the tough players of the past. They're gone. Lee Matthews. And yeah, it was pretty tough old times. All right. I'll leave with that one. Cheers, fellas.